What is up guys today? Me filming like vlog, basically just like doing things that make me feel good. So basically like a self-care. If you're new, subscribe, like this video, comment, check out my other videos if you haven't already. Share them if you would like to. Check out my socials, my Etsy, my Instagram, my Depop, my TikToks. Everything will be linked down below. If you're not following them, you're missing out and turn your post vacations. I don't know why I have like a really small headache. I think it's been going on for like a couple of days, but it also could be because I keep doing this. Let me just demonstrate. It's also annoying, but also my hair has kind of been kind of annoying me because like it looks good now, but like in an hour or maybe oh, like next day, it's gonna look crunchy. But like, I feel like none of my products are working right now. Like it's in this weird phase right now. I need to get more of this. I need to get more of this because this is like the bomb. I love this conditioner. It's very like, it has a really good condi uh, conditioning. This is a really good conditioner. I've had this thing for months and I was like savoring it because this shit is kind of expensive. It's like 18, 19 dollars for this little bottle. And like, I was just trying to savor it and I have like a drop left. So like all I've been doing is just putting water and like some oil and some conditioner and then I also like steam it and that's what I was doing as well because I was steaming it in an hour or so. My mom and I are gonna go to bowling because she's been talking about bowling for probably like a month now. To be completely honest, I'm not like the biggest fan of bowling but I'm still gonna go because I don't really like being inside my house. I'm just gonna talk about how I feel about YouTube and how I've been having this burnout for a year. I really don't understand why it's still going on for so long. But if you didn't know, I've had a video before where I talked about my YouTube burnout and that's why I was so inconsistent for a year basically. And it started like around the beginning of the panorama. I didn't feel as creative because i didn't really know what to do like in 2019 uh i feel like that was like when i was like really creative and then 2020 it just plummets and then 2021 we're not even going to talk about that i don't even want to look at my watch time because i'm gonna cry because i did this to myself like i'm trying not to be super hard on myself but like i keep taking like breaks and i realized that this week i didn't post at all and you know, I can understand, like, I was like, I posted like a week ago, right? I posted like a vlog of what I was doing and trying to get in the groove of posting and editing again. And like, people were commenting like how they were like missing my content and it made me feel really good because I'm just like, I honestly thought that people would forget about my content, to be honest with you, because like, I'm so inconsistent like you never know what i'm gonna post now like it's normally like the original schedule like for a while it's tuesday thursday and sunday but sometimes i post friday saturday you know sometimes one of those days that are normal my normal posting days and sometimes i don't post at all like sometimes i post only on a sunday like it's just like it doesn't really like you never know and like i feel so disorganized with youtube because like I used to like have this thing where I knew when I was gonna post, I used to have this schedule where I knew I was gonna edit, but like for some reason I can't sit down and just edit a video for hours because like I just get so distracted and I just feel like it's boring groove of posting again because I feel like I'm neglecting my channel, which is not why I wanted to make this channel in the first place. I made this channel almost four years ago. Like next month will be four years and huge deal because honestly i didn't think i would be like going like getting that far with youtube to be honest i didn't think i would get like over a thousand followers on it because i was just like i'm probably gonna stay at 500 200 for ever back to what i was saying i'm gonna put on sunscreen as i'm talking but it's already like uh, probably 100 degrees right now i'm not really 100 percent sure but i just know that i haven't seen that number in a while and i was actually like happy that it was raining because I'm just like, well, we need it, so bring it in. I switched to drinking this bottle of water. Um, I only have to drink three of these because of my weight. 
now I don't have to pee as much in the day. That was like really cool because if you could understand how frustrating it is to pee every two seconds, it's really annoying. I also have a bracelet of an amethyst. I'm probably gonna wear that today. I'm feeling it. But this is from the fragrance bar co i want to figure out a way i could how i can make my own perfume i got some gum in here i also have this this fidget toy that broke off of my keychain it has my hair on it don't know how my hair keeps getting on everything but it broke so now i just have it like hanging in here in case i am anxious and want to play with something because i have like a bunch of I have like three no i have like five fidget toys I fidget with something then i start messing with my hair i start messing with my eyelashes i start messing with basically like everything like my pimples like those top those are the top three things that i would mess with like i didn't realize i had a problem with my eyelashes until i figured out months ago that i'm like oh i have an issue like I don't know why I just want to pick at myself when I'm anxious or when I'm bored but it's like the worst thing that you could ever do because when you pick at your hair you make it dry and it causes like split ends, dead ends, whatever and then when you pick at your eyelashes it's gonna look uneven and then when you pick at your zits you're gonna cause scars but there's no good outcome out of this is what I'm saying day and I'm gonna be dyeing my hair with these two colors well they're technical their real names is alpine green and lagoon blue from punky color these are vegan dyes and they're semi-permanent and this is what I used to do that green color I dyed it in like probably a month I have gloves but they don't even do anything like I feel like it's just an illusion because it's still gets under like it still gets on my skin at the end of the day but i also have like a paint blanket thing so you can get plate like paint on it it's like what construction people use or painters use and i have it because i paint a lot so um i use it also to dye my hair so i don't get dye on the floor because somehow i get it everywhere but just to clean the bathtub like a couple of days ago and i'm gonna have to do it again but it's okay so um 
and they smell really good they smell like grape or bubblegum when i look in the light it's just like i just see yellow and like a throw up green color and i'm just like what even is this like look at these colors like before i dig my hands into them look at these colors like the green is already dark so it makes like this uh low-key blueberry like deep blueberry color and sometimes it makes like a deep green color like it really depends on the ratios is what i've noticed like if i put more blue it's gonna make a blueberry color if i put more green than blue then it's gonna be like a foresty green okay it's not recording because my storage was full on here so um that kind of like caught me off guard yeah and more paper towels to it but anyways like yesterday was kind of wild not gonna lie not gonna front here but we went to a bowling alley and i was kind of craving like a margarita not gonna lie like i don't know why but i don't really crave like alcoholic drinks because i'm not really i'm not a drinker oh i really want like my mom was like oh do you want a drink and i was like yeah sure i was already craving a margarita so why not it and it tasted really like good and i was already feeling tipsy from like a baby sip from it and like i'm just gonna dip my hands in it and uh, oh i have a brush oh my god i'm done this is this is how i do it there's already a bunch of green shit on oh got it on the wall okay downfall of dyeing my hair it gets i've been having like a hard time finding like hacks on how to get dye out of like white countertops so i kind of made up my own hack and it was a uh, castile soap with baking soda and i think that's it because that's what i used the last time on my mom's bathtub and my bathtub and i let it sit for like 30 minutes to an hour and then i would scrub it and then it would come out and uh I'd have to keep doing it at least three or four times and it worked. I don't know where I got it from. I just kind of came up with it on the spot because I saw my mom using her Castile soap. And I was like, oh, like that's a good cleaning soap. And it also has like a bunch of other benefits. So I was like, oh, let me try it. And then the baking soda just adds the cake. I play pool. It was really embarrassing because I never really learned how to play pool. The last time I played pool, it was really embarrassing. So I just don't, because I don't know how to play. Like, I don't know how to play. I never really had an interest in it. Even when I played 8-ball on, like, like if I, when I played with my friend on the phone, like, I sucked at it. I always lost. I think I won once on those games. And, you know, I took it home. And I was like, oh, I must be, like, okay then. But when I play in real life, it's like what even but this is what it looks like it's very dark it sucked at vlogging because after i finished like literally half of the margarita because my mom took half of it i started getting like a really big migraine hot and i was just like mm -mm. i guess i'm a lightweight because what is this it's a 45 minute waiting period for the bowling so we played pool none of us like neither of us won if you're wondering uh I literally, we both suck at it, so it doesn't, like, bother me, because at least I know that, like, like, I've always known my mom was not good at bowl, um, not bowling, pool, so it didn't make me feel, like, bad. Oh, I forgot about my piercing, oh. So then, when it was time to bowl, actually, no, when we were bowling, there was just, like, one couple, this one lady that would just not stop staring at me while I was trying to bowl, and it was kind of annoying because I was trying to have fun and then she just would not stop staring at me. And I don't know if... See, I just saved myself some trouble. It dropped on the floor. Um, I don't know if she was like thinking I was like cute or something. Or if she thought I was trying to check out her man. Or she was just like... I, don't, I really don't know what was going through her head because she did it so much. And she had like a kid. They were hogging the radio the radio thing because you can pick your own song but you have to pay to get like better songs and i didn't really know how much it was gonna be it was kind of dumb just to like play for like pay like it was just kind of dumb in my opinion and they were just only playing like no offense to people that like rock music but they were just playing like screamo 
screamo rock music and i was just like ew the only time i really liked it was when this one person played a 30 a 31 savage 21 savage song and we started bowling oh also like every time i try to like hit the ball like the white ball would always get out of the pulling table like it would just be flying everywhere and it was really embarrassing it was always me doing that i did that at least five times already like that bad it's just like as i was drinking more and more alcohol i was getting like more and more hot and there was like barely any air ventilating and uh it was just annoying because i was just like i was hot i was wearing a lot of black i was wearing pants my mom took like i'm gonna say four or five shots of patron so she was pretty drunk and I was not, I'm not, I wasn't going to be on her level because I feel like if I was on her level, I'd be texting people that I used to text and doing stupid shit like that. The color that it looks like when I wash it out, like this is basically like what you're going to see. Anyways, like I was trying to check out some guys there at the bowling alley and they were all either with baby mamas or they were underage and i'm not james charles so i'm not into that but like there's these like 14 15 year old guys that were like getting scores up to 256 on the bowling thing and i'm like mm -mm. every time i was trying to see how they were doing it like i would just glance over here and there to see how they were getting all these high scores and they would do like this little hop thing every time they would throw it and i'm like maybe that's the maybe that's the technique they have because they every time they would just do this little bunny hop at the end and i'm just like interesting like everyone had their own techniques on how to throw it and there were some professional bowlers that brung brought their own bowling balls and they were one of those people and it was just very interesting, but I just can't see myself being professional bowler because I feel like bowling is for old people, to be honest. Grandpa likes it, and he's kind of old, so point proven. Grandpa, the last time my mom went out to Cali, it was like he got up to 100, and I got up to, like, my highest score was like 79 or something. And I wasn't even really trying that hard, to be honest with you. I was just kind of just doing my own thing. But then there was just one family that had this one kid. And she just was crying every time it wasn't her turn. Like, she was probably, like, she looked like she was two. But they would kept shoving her a binky every two seconds. She would, like, every time she would cry, they will just shove it in. And... Because she was loud, like she was like probably like the loudest person in the place, and they just had to be right next to us, and it was just like, well, that's annoying. Camera's dying, cool. Okay, so this is basically um almost. A, oh, I just got. Oh my god, that should be a thumbnail. I think that's perfect.